Mr. President. I've been thoroughly briefed by all the agencies in the federal government as to the situation, based on what we know now. I have tried to get a hold of Donald. Uh, he's with his doctors. Uh, they Apparently, he's doing well. I plan on talking to them shortly, I hope, when I get back to the uh, telephone. Look, there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so, and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who, and we have more detail to come relative to other injured, other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't, if I'm not able to get, if, if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is that the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed. And if I I'm able to speak to the to Donald. I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears he's doing well. Number one, number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government. I'll be and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned any more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to him tonight, and I'll get to back to you if I do, okay? Mr. President, do you think there was an assassination attempt? I don't know enough to... I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some comment, any more comments. Thank you. Are you worried about the that was President Biden addressing the nation after former President Trump uh, was presumptively shot at at a rally in Pennsylvania. Shots rang out at this rally. We are told the, the potential shooter is dead. Someone in the crowd is also dead. But what really stood out to me from this address was the president called former President Trump Donald. I'm trying to get a hold of Donald. I hope he is OK. It, you know, it, it, all of the kind of political uh, vernacular has kind of faded away, and now he's talking about talking human to human. Uh, he said Donald is with doctors. I'm trying to get a hold of him. He, of course, condemned what happened, condemned political violence. He said, quote, it's sick. He also said he's trying to learn more information. We do know that some kind of firearm was discharged, and we're trying to learn about how uh, what, what exactly happened. We, we have heard from Donald Trump Jr. as well, just in the last few minutes, uh, sent by uh, an aide. Uh, Don Jr. was not there. Donald Trump Jr. not there. But he said, quote, I just spoke to my father on the phone, and he is in great spirits. He will never stop fighting to save America no matter what the radical left throws at him. Okay, we don't know about the intention of this shooter or motivation in any way at this time. That's a quote from Donald Trump Jr., the president, former president's son. President Biden, in his brief remarks from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, a place where he likes to enjoy some peace and quiet on the weekend, not this weekend, having to speak out about violence at a political rally, he called it sick, sick.